Hi, everybody. Our pro um, I always mess this up. Sorry, I, it's so weird for me to record videos. But um, so I we've said before there are three main methods of hand building. The first one we covered was pinching. Um, another method is called coils. Um, and what a coil is, and we've all if we played Play-Doh as a kid, have probably done this before. A coil is where you take clay and you either roll it between your hands like this, or you can take it against the table and you roll a little rope or snake looking thing. This, table's rocking, sorry, the computer probably is too. This is a coil. So our project this week, we will be making a seven inch coil pot. So, I'm going to show you guys some examples here. Uh, so the requirements for this project is it needs to be made out of coils. Um, it has to be seven inches tall. And at least three rows of your pot need to have fancy coils or designed coils. So I'll show you what I am talking about. Um, here, oh, a little sharp. here is a coil pot. Um, so just your regular rope-like coil. Uh, I wouldn't call that a fancy coil. So this one has, this whole row is like swirls. This is kind of up and down. These are little triangles and these are balls. So this coil pot has one, two, three, four rows of designs. So um, your coil pot has to just have at least three of these, your rows have to have designs. You could do more if you want. Um, your designs can repeat. They don't have to be three different designs. You just need to have three rows of designs. So I'm gonna show you another example uh, of a seven inch coil pot. And this one has three rows of the same design, um, which is fine. Just three rows have to be designed. And then I also would recommend always finishing it kind of with a regular coil, just so that kind of makes the top all even. Um, there's lots of different coils we can use. This pot, it's kind of hard to see, has these balls are one design. These little triangles is another. It's Brady piece is another design. These balls is another. And this little twist would be another design. So this one would have one, two, three, four, five designs. So again, that's more than three. Totally fine to do more than three. Uh, I've had students in the past do their whole coil pot that was all just designs. So that's fine to do also. Um, here's a coil pot. This one kind of, these are more like a slab. They're not rolling a coil. So you need to make, want to make sure that all of your, um, your, all of your rows are made out of coils. Um, there will be projects in the future where we do combination of methods, pinching, uh, pinching, coiling, or slabs. But for this project in particular, we're just, we're just doing coils. Um, the base of your project could be a slab if you if you want that, so you can roll out a slab um, to support your base. Or another option for your coil pot is to do a coil for the base. So whichever way you want to do it, it's totally fine by me. So you, I just said we're only doing coils. Your base could be a slab, but the coils uh, or the walls need to be made out of coils. Also, I kind of want you to stay away from doing really vertical designs. It hard to tell, I don't know if it's my camera, but it doesn't always support the top where it's kind of heavy. Um, so I would stay away from uh, those vertical designs. Um, I also kind of don't want to see people doing very like thick fat coils just to try to get a bunch of inches done at once. So, um, oh my gosh, I'm shaking this as I'm rolling it. So I'm sorry, I guess I'll just stop rolling this coil, try and do it a, a little bit. Um, so you're going to start, you'll be rolling out coils. Again, like I said, I'm stopping because it's shaking the whole camera. Um, and it's so important that you should be doing this anyways, but that you are scoring and slipping every single time you're adding a coil. So you're going to be doing the top and the bottom. And if you want to go one extra step, it, that never hurts. Uh, you can it's partially smooth, but you want to smooth those two pieces together or your rows. Um, so yeah, you do not need a lid. Uh, you just have to be making seven inches using coils. Uh, and again, however you want your designs to be, you can. Just three rows need to have designs on, or three of your rows need to be designed coils. And they do not have to be different coils. All three could be the same. Um, here's just a little swirly that I made. So um, yeah, just 
have fun exploring coils. <laughs>